I used to come down here as a small boy with my uncle and my father. And um, we would come down here on fishing trips and stay for three or four days. And at that time, the Kissimmee River was good enough to uh, make your own coffee out of and uh, use for cooking. It was a uh, great place, what we call a pond bird. It would be the egrets or the cranes or what have you. You see, you have to realize that the Kissimmee River was like a snake that meandered between the two hammocks, with a hammock on each side and a vast marsh between the river and the uh, hammock. So it was just thousands of birds and miles and miles of marsh, and uh, there was just seemed to be no end to it. It was really a great place for a young man to grow up. It was probably some of the wildest parts of North America that had not been encroached on by man. I had seen the river so low that it was, wouldn't be but eight or 10 feet across. I've also seen the river so high that I've been over it in an outboard motor on Highway 60. There was a lot of fish, uh, and it were big fish and healthy fish, and uh, uh, almost every time you came down here, you were assured of catching a mess of fish. It might be more one time than you did the other time, but you never went home empty-handed. This was a tremendous bass river, probably one of the best in the world to catch the Florida largemouth black bass. We would also like to ride up and down the river during the middle of the day and just look at the wild game and the uh, egrets and the palms and the hallums. And, and it, it, was, it, it was just a part of Florida that uh, made uh, made my life the way it is, and I'm glad I got to see it at that time because it's all gone today.